what's up everyone welcome back to the channel so a few months ago the kenya lioness team matched up with the south sudanese women's national team at the uh, zone 5 uh, tournament that happened earlier this year so just to get some context on what uh, this video is about um when kenya beat south sudan in the women's zone 5 kenya uh, we, we were not we were not too classy about it uh, we made sure that um they they saw it made sure that they tagged them uh, there were a couple of memes floating around and um and it caught them it caught the south sudanese uh basketball fraternity it, it, it rubbed them the wrong way and looking at even what you're seeing on the screen right now so this is a page on facebook uh it's called dynamic it's verified so uh, he, was, he said he came out saying he actually took the South Sudanese uh, photo, the graphic that showed that they qualified for the FIBA World Cup, and um, he put it there and he wrote the caption. I didn't see my Kenyan brothers, not sisters, speaking of this, but they were quick to speak on our women's team. We get it. Still waiting for the Kenya men's basketball to qualify. It's sports talk, sports talk, nothing personal. So this is a slight jab, but uh, it just a reaction to uh, what we, what we, you know, even yours truly, uh, were talking about, especially when the Kenya Lioness team beat South Sudan twice. And the first time it wasn't close, the second one was to like notch on the third place. So just to get some context, you can see where he's coming from. Uh, Kenya got beat by South Sudan in the Afro Basket to eliminate eliminators earlier on in 2020 in the Afro Basket pre qualifiers. Kenya had the last laugh as they beat South Sudan, and when South Sudan got their payback and looking at what they have done since that Afro Basket run, has been remarkable. And looking at how they fared in the FIBA Basketball World Cup, and you compare to Kenya. South Sudan are way are miles ahead and they were able to beat every single team that Kenya lost to. They beat Congo DR, they beat Senegal, they beat Egypt. Uh they, they just flat out dominated. So this just marks like the background context on what the social media, you know, post is all about. So I went to check on the comment section and man <laughs> it was just heated so let's just go through it so we had this guy saying battle sue my brother so <laughs> this guy replied please have that conversation with uganda or tanzania we are past your level we're in the world cup and you guys still in city cups big difference bro <laughs> there's a huge blow on us because this statement holds true because kenya has never been able to get any success in continental basketball and and South Sudan have, despite us having a head start. So this uh, this is just <laughs> playing to our downfall. So this guy is saying game is already rigged. You know, yada 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 in there. I always say South South Sudan will be a powerhouse in sports and will dominate Africa in the future. Football is the next big thing to grow bigger and better. As many South Sudanese abroad come back home to represent the motherland. So true. South Sudan, they they just pretty they just pretty good. So, right in that post in the comments, you can see they can only qualify in rugby, man. <laughs> Referring to Kenya. So, other than basketball, what other sport are you good at? Let's not forget, we are brothers first before anything else. <laughs> Kenya's just getting roasted. We are getting roasted because these people are just are good most at comedy. <laughs> Oh my god, and it will be taken away from there. So you can see they were just literally ripping us. Because number one, the reason why you get ripped on is because we talk so big, yet I've achieved so little. We have players who, you know, when they win when they won against Angola, you could see they're just all arrogant and they went to when they went to like even local media, they're talking as if they are four time we are four time champions, yet we just qualified. We didn't even win anything. No minute told me we didn't really win anything. So on going on to the moving sort of thing in the comments. Advice Kenyans to go for a marathon. Basketball isn't for them. 
at the moment i would agree with this statement because i i must say we're not there yet because if you look at the way we have been set up uh, it's not promising right now smartest idea ever haha <laughs> these guys are just ripping us so i feel you i feel you legend so another long thread i always find it awkward of you bashing kenyans on various aspects sincerely kenya raised you and gave you an opportunity to be where you are after fleeing sudan please do not be a rush be, be on a rush to criticize we accommodated you wholeheartedly okay or you cut the bs if you can't take sports log out get off your feelings and go catch some sun <laughs> moving on you remember them days in Arabia? i mean oh my god egyptians here are saying that saying where were these people when it was called sudan but you replied but you, our replied was they were in the bush for 21 years now it's time to show who they were who we are <laughs> I mean some guys in the comments are just <laughs> just funny so basketball is not for kenyans but running is meant for them true uh right now uh we, we're just good at running those guys are number one in in theft in africa just leave them <laughs> our bad vices just come back to bite us forget about them they are competing at a low local level when the world cup a fit no country in east africa has come close can come close to true Kenya is uh, way behind right now while South Sudan are gearing up to play in the FIBA World Cup the losers in including my country Kenya will be battling it out in the African so levels see the levels are different so that's sensitive part you have touched brother we wouldn't celebrate our victory together because they are close friends the South Africa community are this no we're not the same you can see Kenya is just be falling behind. We fail it in road to Bal. City Oilers came and passed us. Cobra Sport comes from South Sudan. They made the BAL last season. Man, I mean, there's nothing. And oh, don't forget Rwanda. They have a mega arena where the BAL playoffs are going to, you know, be hosted as we speak right now. So, yeah. I mean, um, Kennedy Loria, aka Singer Dynamic. You're poking Kenya where you grew up. Uh, from is like a fisherman poking a crocodile simply because he has crossed the river. Stay away from such. <laughs> Honestly, don't know what these people are saying. I mean, bullshit in sports. You can't handle the heat. Leave the kitchen. <laughs> oh my God! Say hi to your glass. Okay, okay, fine. You want to talk about age and sports? Do you even know about Kenyan history with that lol? I was expecting you to tell me to hug a tree bro bless it. blessings always so actually this game meant to put it in uppercase south sudan is the best is the best in basketball best basketball team in africa right now then and forever true kenya is not nurturing young boys ah nah nah there's nothing's happening you have seen those controversies in the kenya uh secondary schools association <sighs> just coming back to bite us again Okay, bro, nothing personal. There is only one spot left to qualify for, and I doubt neither Kenya nor Uganda will qualify. True. Okay, we're not that good in basketball at all. Um, the World Cup. <laughs> no. East African countries should be proud of us, SSD, because we made we made for them. <laughs> oh, my God. This conversation is just funny. East African countries should be proud. I mean, let, the, let them feel now. There's a distance to get to where you, our boys are. Keep doing it. <laughs> Junubili. Oh my god, this is just funny. Team Strong, congratulations. Same countries, social media. Looks like they have a problem in South Sudan. They just used to cover their bad news. And when something good happens, they don't see. <laughs> Slowly, Kenya is not SSD media to report everything SSD. Do feelings aside, I mean, true. I mean, I can see when you try to post anything post about Kenyan basketball, you get a lot of backlash. Uh, not not even backlash. Nobody cares. But when you post anything negative, you're having a lot of engagement. So when you post anything positive, 
you're getting no engagement but you post anything negative about the league you get a lot of engagement because as a nation as kenyans we just love to thrive on negativity and we live and in love to thrive on like a controversy not not necessarily negativity i can say it's constructive criticism but the funny thing is even when you try to positively or even you know objectively look at a situa- situation and give a reasoning about it some people just call it you know hating and uh, unfortunately for them that uh, inability to accept any criticism has led us to this point they are full of hate of us for us but god will bless us before their eyes let's go their men are not there and what they didn't knew is that our women in their first time is the first time ever to enter into such a competition they will be back strong because they have learned a lot from these defeats okay true i mean uh, every lesson is an experience you should go for rugby and marathon true you should stick on the sports that we know basketball is not there yet kenyans deserve marathon this game is not their level clear <laughs> i mean true why will they speak of it were they playing against the kenya men's basketball team true they should speak because this is this representing africa now unless kenya isn't an african country <laughs> Vita Janza Apa, easy. It's a fight that began last week. You may not understand. So, uh, funny man. Jamini Hata, Fongezi Kitoka Jirani is not forthcoming. But they, that's all we expected from the Kenya media because our success means success of the EAC. Eh, cool. They just should be, they should, they should, it's like a command. They're entitled to do so if they feel like most Kenyans speak on their media houses, the post was speaking out of malice. Ah, whatever. Kenyans talk a lot. Very impressive. Go easy on them. So, bro, you decided to come with violence this Saturday. Remember, there was a time when Kenyans beat South Sudan fairly and squarely. Eh, that, that was 2020. They got their revenge in 2021 in the, in the Afro basket, inside the Afro basket. And uh, Kenya is no closer to South Sudan as we speak. No one else is... Uh, me and my friend have our saying, no one else is allowed to beat Kenya and Uganda in this basketball, unless it's South Sudanese, because Kenya and Uganda are our close cousins. Well, I mean, Kenya is not for mushrooms, tell them. <laughs> my God, we just got roasted. Like We, we, we just get burnt on the comments every single time and i mean i mean they just get congratulations in there and you're becoming bass now never under the bridge you used to cross the river you guys are so emotional stay away from trash talks you can't manage the heat go home that doesn't restrict freedom of speech and in the end it's just banter in sports no catching feelings a few days ago kenya strolled south sudanese and we understood their perspective true so the thing is for a country that hasn't achieved anything in basketball, like my country, the furthest that we have gone to is getting a silver medal in the Africa with the national team. We failed in the Afro basket. We failed in FIBA World Cup. There's nothing that we, are, we, have, we have to show for those two major tournaments that happened. The only thing that we have is a silver medal in the Afro and and happened in 2019. And it's not even something big because even when we won the silver medal, we are we are we only facing bench players. We're not even facing like the first and second teams. We're only facing third teams. Even us beating Nigeria, us beating Cote d'Ivoire in that run, didn't mean anything because they didn't even put even their best team in there. So all I can just say is South Sudan are the best right now. They're headed to the FIBA World Cup while we watch the FIBA World Cup at home, and I don't even know. If you're even training for the african which is going to happen this july because there's nothing that you have done that is even um coming even close to even improving our national teams are pathetic we blew to the kenya lioness in february earlier this year we're going to we blew we blew it again with the the women's team the men and women's team for the in the kpa organization the kpa women's side they failed in the but Africa Women's Cup, they failed there. They failed in Zone 5. The men's team failed in Road to Ball. Won one game in a blowout, lost four straight. 
and it was embarrassing because we got beat by a cast of 17 year olds in there which is not a good look especially with the NBA Africa team a team that is not even playing in the BL they just went there to just you know get a feel for the game and we lost to them and man I mean if those losses keep on piling and the win column for the South Sudanese side keep increasing we are not even closer because if you look at even the road to Bali, you could see City Oilers hailing from South Sudan, not South Sudan, from Uganda. They went there. They they went there. Okay, didn't, they didn't make the playoffs, but you could see that they had some progress in there. If you look at team like um, Cobra Sport were there last season in the BAL, you could see uh, Coach Liz Mills, uh, she left the Kenya Morans. She went to ASL and made them the playoffs she's taken an abc fighters team to the playoffs tailongwa is there so you could see as kenya regresses in in basketball continental basketball and working in isolation the way we think that we know everything other countries are going to pass us and it's just a matter of time so there's actually a funny banter but i just thought uh i'll just be sporadically checking out the you know comments and just reacting to them so um yeah, leave your feedback down in the comment section what you think. And uh, I'm out. Peace.